want to talk about the new record. Um, you've, you've described this record as a reactive record. I'm wondering what that means to you. Tell me what reactive means. I said that? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, the, I mean, the, the record was an, the record really was an exercise in, in faith, in uh -huh. patience, in letting the creative process be what it wants to be. Yeah. I knew while I was cutting this thing, this thing that all of a sudden I was hearing, once I was in the middle of it, I knew I'm on my path. Mm. My path, not his path, not this person's path. Mm -hmm. I'm on my path. I don't know what it is, I don't know what it means, but I'm on my path. And what happens is once you put your foot on that path and you start going down that path, the floodgates open. Because mm. now you're in alignment. You're where you're supposed to be. Floodgates open, the whole album came out. I dream songs a lot but I've never dreamt an entire album. Well, and, and, and I wanted to ask you about and that. And I dreamt the whole record. You, you've, talk, you've talked about you know, the, the, these dreams, and I'm certain this is not the first time that you've woken up with a, you know, a, a no. song idea. You wake up what? with them, you, you hear them when you're walking down the street, yeah. wherever you're sitting, but to dream in a whole album, that has not happened for me. Yeah. And it was just such a beautiful exercise in being authentic mm. to who you are. Um, I'd rather have an album not be successful, whatever that means, because mm. I don't right. understand that, because the success is in making it, not in how many people buy it mm. or what charts they're on. Yes, that's lovely. Do I want that? Yes. It's great to have success, but the true success is in expressing yourself authentically and being honest and being real and being who you are. So I'd rather have the record be me and not do well than to go work with whoever and have a number one song mm. that I can't deal with. Yeah. And there's there's so much in this record um, you know to 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 talk about the themes, mm -hmm. the things that 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 you talk about. When you for instance that 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 first Dream, if you will, which I think turned into the track "Low." Yes. Um, what was it in your head that you had to go put down in the studio? Was it a riff, a melody, a title? You what? just hear it. It's it's really hard to explain. Some sometime it comes as a whole piece of music, uh -huh. like you're listening to a a track. Yeah. Um, sometime it's the chorus. Sometime it's the melody. Sometime it's the chord changes. Right. Sometime it's some words. It, it all depends, and mm. whatever's not there in the dream, you then finish, you know? Yeah, I, I want to ask you about, uh, you know, a couple of other artists that, that mm. you have had the opportunity to, to work with and I know that you were close with, um, one of whom is Prince. Mm. Um, uh, you had the chance to, to work with him, you got to know him, obviously. Um, and, and, and if I'm not mistaken, he reached out to you after your first record. After Let Love Rule, yeah. Yeah, came out. Yeah. What, what, what did that mean to you to hear from Prince about uh, the record that you made? Another beautiful gift. Obviously, his, his <laughs> spirit, mm. uh, you know, is very close to mine. Yeah. And um, there's a song on the album actually that was it's it was written before this album was done so it's mm. the it was still dreamt but it was before i'd gone to the bahamas, bahamas. yeah a song called gold dust mm. i wrote that the morning he died mm. yeah and um what also is interesting about this album which i'll say now because i can't but it it's something that's very interesting is concerning energy. After he died, and nobody knows this till now, um, I was given his guitar, hmm. his main, one of his main haunters. When he died, beside being s torn apart about it, and beside this, this life that should have gone on much longer, mm. You know, uh, should have been should have been here much longer. The thing that 
I took away from his death that fed me was that, okay, he's gone. It's horrible. But he did everything. He did his thing. Yes, he could have done more, of course. He but he did everything, mm -hmm. right? And I realized at that moment, if I die now, I haven't done it. I haven't done my thing. So it lit a fire under my ass to say, do your thing. Do everything. Don't compromise. Be who you're supposed to be. Fulfill your destiny so that when you do leave this planet, you would have done what you're supposed to do. Whatever that is, yes, right? Right. And so then I get given the guitar to use on the album. So his energy is now in the room because it just is. This, mm -hmm. this piece of wood, this thing he played for all those years is sitting there. And um, it brought something special hmm. to this record. I can't tell you exactly yeah. what. Yeah. It, 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 it was a presence. Mm -hmm. His presence was in the room mm -hmm. and ended up on many tracks. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, y'all? This is B.O.B. This is G-Eazy. I'm Mo. This is Julia Michaels. This is Logic. Make sure you subscribe to the Recording Academy channel. Flex.